Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. SK Boss Che blames US-China tensions for expensive EV batteries. First FT, Israel pummels Gaza and prepares for ground invasion. Taiwanese semiconductor suppliers target Europe's next-generation factories. Denso, Mitsubishi Electric, to invest $1 billion in US EV electronics firm. Warning AI could use as much energy as Netherlands. SK Boss Che blames US-China tensions for expensive EV batteries. Bloomberg. Geopolitical tensions between the US and China have kept prices of electric car batteries high for longer, according to South Korean billionaire Che Taewon. Che, the chairman of SK Group, said his conglomerate is looking to reduce its reliance on China, with which it competes in the electric car market. The Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act means that car manufacturers are unable to source materials from China in order to receive the full benefit of tax credits for EVs. First FT, Israel pummels Gaza and prepares for ground invasion. Financial Times. Israel has continued to pound the Gaza Strip and is preparing for a ground invasion of the area. The Israeli military has hit more than 1,300 targets in Gaza in response to a deadly incursion by Hamas on Saturday. More than 4,500 rockets have been fired into Israel from Gaza. The Israeli military has found the bodies of dozens of civilians, including children, near the Gaza border and has described the site as a massacre. Israel has called up an additional 60,000 reservists and deployed 35 military battalions and four divisions as it prepares for a possible land attack on Gaza. The UN estimates that at least 200,000 people have already fled their homes in Gaza to seek shelter from Israeli strikes. Taiwanese semiconductor suppliers target Europe's next-generation factories. Financial Times. Taiwanese suppliers to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., TSMC, the largest contract chip maker globally, are planning investments in Germany and other European countries. Their plans reflect structural changes in the semiconductor industry as governments around the world seek to reshore chip manufacturing and protect supply chains from geopolitical tensions and other disruptions. Global chipmakers are expanding capacity in Europe following subsidies under the European Chips Act. However, Europe currently lacks the supply chain needed to support such increases in capacity, with an executive at a European petrochemical company stating the continent had not seen capacity growth for more than a decade. Denso, Mitsubishi Electric, to invest $1 billion in US EV electronics firm. Nikkei Asia. Japanese companies Mitsubishi Electric and Denso have announced plans to acquire a 25% stake in U.S. materials maker Coherence Silicon Carbide, SIC, business for $1 billion. The companies will each invest $500 million for a 12.5% stake in the business, which will be operated as a subsidiary. SIC is a high-performance material for power semiconductors that can withstand higher voltages and stronger currents than conventional silicon, resulting in reduced power loss. The compound is increasingly being used in electric vehicles and data centers. Mitsubishi Electric plans to quintuple its SIC production capacity by 2027, while Denso is seeking a stable supply of SIC for automotive power semiconductors. The global market for SIC power semiconductor devices is predicted to quadruple to $6.45 billion by 2030. Warning AI could use as much energy as Netherlands. BBC. The artificial intelligence, AI, industry could consume as much energy as the Netherlands by 2027, according to a study by the VU Amsterdam School of Business and Economics. The research is based on the assumption that AI growth will continue at its current rate and that AI chips and servers will operate at full capacity. The study estimates that AI's energy consumption could reach 85 to 134 terawatt-hours per year, which is roughly equivalent to the annual energy consumption of a small country. The study's author, Alex de Vries, suggests that AI should only be used where necessary to mitigate its environmental impact. AMD to acquire AI software startup in effort to catch NVIDIA. Reuters. Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, has announced plans to acquire artificial intelligence, AI, startup NOD.A as part of its strategy to enhance its software capabilities and compete with rival chipmaker NVIDIA. AMD is looking to invest heavily in software to support its advanced AI chips and build a unified collection of software to power its range of chips. Nod.ai's technology will enable companies to deploy AI models optimized for AMD's chips. The terms of the deal were not disclosed. How global firms are reacting to the Israel-Hamas conflict. Al Jazeera. Several global companies with a presence in Israel have suspended operations or asked employees to work from home due to the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. 
Some of the measures taken by these companies include airlines suspending flights to Tel Aviv, cruise operators modifying itineraries, and financial institutions asking employees to work from home. Other companies, such as Adani Ports and Eli Lilly, are closely monitoring the situation and taking necessary steps to ensure the safety of staff and uninterrupted supply of goods and services. Futures rise on dovish Fed tone, Middle East tensions weigh. Reuters. Futures tracking Wall Street's main indexes climbed on Tuesday as U.S. Treasury yields retreated following dovish comments from Federal Reserve policymakers overnight, though caution prevailed amid escalating tensions in the Middle East. Top-ranking Fed officials indicated rising yields on long-term U.S. Treasury bonds could steer the central bank from further increases in its short-term policy rate. Huawei aims to double smartphone shipments to 70M next year. Nikkei Asia. Huawei is stockpiling components for its smartphones in preparation for a further U.S. crackdown. The company aims to double smartphone sales next year and has been building up its inventory of lenses, cameras, and other parts since earlier this year to meet this goal. Huawei has asked Qualcomm, its only U.S. supplier of 4G mobile chips, to ship its full-year order by June for fear that the U.S. will introduce another round of export controls. Huawei has been under American trade restrictions since 2019 but has not given up on its ambitions for chip development. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Che, your Six Degrees Observer, here to deliver today's news with a touch of humor and insight. So, let's dive right in. South Korean billionaire Che Tae-won, chairman of SK Group, is blaming US-China tensions for the high prices of electric car batteries. It seems that geopolitical conflicts not only affect politics but also your wallet. Maybe we can find a way to power our cars with all that tension. In the Middle East, Israel and Gaza are locked in a deadly conflict. Israel has continued to pound Gaza and is preparing for a ground invasion. The situation is tragic, with civilians caught in the crossfire. It's a reminder that while technology advances, the world still grapples with ancient conflicts. Taiwanese semiconductor suppliers are eyeing Europe for their next-generation factories. With governments seeking to protect supply chains from geopolitical tensions, it seems like Europe is the new hotspot for chip manufacturing. Maybe they can also make some delicious European chips while they're at it. Japanese companies Mitsubishi Electric and Denso are investing $1 billion in a US EV electronics firm. They're acquiring a stake in coherent silicon carbide business. SIC is a high-performance material used in electric vehicles and data centers. Who knew that a little compound could have such a big impact? Artificial intelligence is on the rise, but so is its energy consumption. According to a study, AI could use as much energy as the Netherlands by 2027. Looks like we need to find a way to power AI with renewable energy, or we'll have an AI-induced climate crisis on our hands. Maybe we can make AI ride bicycles to generate its own energy. Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, is acquiring AI software startup NOD.AI to catch up with rival NVIDIA. It seems like everyone wants a piece of the AI pie. Maybe they should have a friendly AI bake-off to settle their differences. The Israel-Hamas conflict is impacting global companies with a presence in Israel. Some companies have suspended operations or asked employees to work from home. It's a reminder that conflicts have far-reaching consequences beyond borders. Maybe they can settle their differences over a game of Monopoly or Scrabble instead. And finally, Huawei is stockpiling smartphone components in anticipation of further US crackdowns. It seems like they're ready to face any challenges that come their way. Maybe they can use all those components to build a giant smartphone fortress. That's all for today's news roundup. Remember, folks, the world may be filled with conflicts and challenges, but it's also full of opportunities for innovation and progress. Keep your eyes open and your sense of humor intact. And now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about these news stories? Do you have any ideas or questions? Let's start a discussion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.